trackside camping at its best. Yep, that's fully charged. How good is it having inverter in the back of your four-wheel drive? It means you can take AC power wherever you go off the grid. And I find that just super handy. Now, a big question that a lot of people have is what size inverter do I need for the back of my four-wheel drive? If you're looking to charge things like laptops, maybe camera batteries, you only really need a small inverter, maybe a 350 watt inverter. If you want to step it up a little bit and um, you wanted to perhaps charge batteries like power tool batteries, bigger things like that, you probably want to step it up to about a thousand watt or even up to 1500 watt. And um, I find that's what I've got in, in Sooty here. And I find that a good all rounder. I have, however, seen people run even bigger inverters up to like 2000, two and a half thousand. Now they're for more serious draw applications, things like induction cookers or coffee machines. Um, I don't have any of that in Sooty. I don't really need that sort of stuff, but heck, if you want those sort of luxuries out in the bush, you can. That, technology is absolutely available for the back of your four-wheel drive but just keep in mind when you do run bigger inverters like that you will need a lot more battery power and when it comes to picking the right inverter for the back of your four-wheel drive look at the highest drawer appliance add 20 percent as a buffer and that'll give you a good starting point for what size inverter you need for the back of your four-wheel drive and the other trick of course is to get yourself a good quality inverter uh, make sure it's pure sine wave something like this red arc one right here and that way your batteries or your appliances will remain in good health and more importantly you won't damage them well this is charged, and something tells me today we're going to need to use this a few times.